And we thought we'd do a little day in our life vlog. Happy Saturday morning. It is a beautiful, crisp fall morning. Look, we're in our little fall get up. I told Chandler that I wanted to go on a fall date. I've been gone for a month on a top secret mission that I'll be able to tell you about really soon. I've felt like I've been missing fall. And so today we're going on a little fall date and we thought we'd do a little day in our life vlog and give you a little update on all things wedding because you guys, we get married in 45 days. Days, which actually by the time you're watching this video, it will be less than that, which is absolutely crazy you're going that way. Get on the interstate! Turn, 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 turn! <laughs> um, I cannot so, see. <laughs> we're driving to a pumpkin patch right now, and so we thought we would answer some of your questions that you submitted on my Instagram while we drive there, because we've got a good bit of ways to go. We have almost all of it planned. Like, it's pretty much all done. Going to Orlando next weekend to do a venue check and a catering tasting to get our food finalized. I got my dress altered. Taylor got his suit altered. Bridesmaids have their dresses in. We both have our bachelor and bachelorette party still to come, but other than that, I don't think we have anything else that we need to plan. I use The Knot for all my stuff. We made our wedding website through them, and I highly recommend if you are a bride-to-be planning a wedding, use The Knot. Not only can you make your wedding website on there for free, but you can also find a lot of your vendors straight through their site, and they just make it super easy to collect RSVP, plan other events like your rehearsal dinner or welcome party, and it saved me so much stress. Is your wedding party wearing the same color or all different? They're wearing the same color. I thought about doing all different, but I just feel like there was more room for maybe it not to look right, and that kind of stressed me out, so we're doing all the same color. But my suit color is different than my hair's color. Chandler wanted to be different than his groomsmen, so he does have a different color suit, which I'm so excited to see, by the way. He won't show me him in his suit. I thought that the bride could see. And I think traditionally you can, but Chandler wants it to be a surprise, so I don't even know what it looks like. What are three fun facts about Chandler? What are three fun facts about you? Chopped off the top of my pinky uh, three years ago. Show him. Can you see? He's missing the top of his pinky. I've never been skiing or snowboarding, and I want to do that with Nicole. I'm surprised about that. Number three. And number three. The sport that I played growing up was lacrosse. Who is the best cook? <laughs> I feel like we're both good cooks, honestly. Chandler's made me some really good meals. And I, obviously, I love cooking, so I'd say, I'm, I'd say I'm a pretty good cook. Are you having a small wedding? I would say it's medium size. We're gonna be between like 150 and 200. I don't think that's small, but I don't also don't think that's super huge. What is the hardest and easiest part of wedding planning? For me, because I've done a lot of like the details, I think the hardest part is like making sure you don't forget anything. Like you don't realize how many things go into a wedding and planning it, which you don't have to have like all the things, but like decor and dresses and jewelry and gifts and wedding bands. Like there are so many little things that I've had to like go from top to bottom of the day and just think of every little thing and make sure I'm not forgetting it. But then also make sure that it goes together because sometimes I think of things, but I'm like, oh, that's the wrong color or that doesn't match the theme. That's been the hardest part. And then I think the easiest part. As a guy, it's really easy. Yeah, Chandler hasn't done a lot of the planning, but he's been very helpful. Like he'll help make decisions or he'll say yes or no on things, which is nice. I don't know if this was the easiest part, but one of my favorite parts was putting together our invitations. We worked with a local designer. Her name is Sammy and I'll link her in the description box below y'all. She is insane. She designed the most beautiful wedding invitation and they were so fun to assemble. I got all the pieces and decided to assemble them myself. And it was so fun, even though it took forever to like put them all together because I'm a super tactile person. I love working with my hands. It was just special like taking Taking that time to put each invitation together and then when I put them in the envelope seeing the names of our guests was super special to think about all those people that are gonna be there on that day will Chandler move in with you once you're married yes so in the video that we did right when we got engaged we did a big Q&A we answered a lot of those questions he will be moving to Nashville right now he currently lives in Alabama what is your favorite fall breakfast I love a good pumpkin spice pancake and a coffee a good cinnamon roll a good cinnamon roll with some cinnamon toast crunch I have a really good recipe for pumpkin cinnamon rolls y'all maybe i should make that a video they're so good i gotta make those for you one time are you going to live stream the wedding okay we are going to try we're working on the logistics of this right now but i will say we're going to be sending out the link to everybody who is on my email list so if you are not already signed up for my free email list go to my website right now nicoledenomad.com and make sure you're signed up because we will have a private link that we'll be sending out and that's just the easiest way for us to get it out so if you want to see the 
wedding if you want to see the live stream it will be on a private link make sure you sign up on my website if you had to eat only ice cream or smoothie bowls for the rest of your life which would it be that's so hard those are like two of my favorite foods i would say probably smoothie bowls because you get the feeling of the coldness but then yeah. you get all the you can put whatever you want on top i think i would say smoothie bowls too only because it's, it's healthier yeah it's healthier it's so similar to ice cream with like the consistency and then you could have like different fruits and toppings and all that but this is interesting what's one way you're making time to be intentionally together on wedding day we're still figuring that out <laughs> we talked about maybe taking like 10 minutes before the reception to like eat because i've heard that people don't eat at their wedding reception and i think i'll be really hungry if i don't eat so we talked about like going to a room and eating dinner really quick chandler how long before you proposed to nicole did you know you were going to propose we answered this question in our proposal q a so go back and watch that but why don't you just tell him again back in march <laughs> yeah he's known for a long time do you plan on changing your name to chandler's last name yes i will be nicole warren which is so exciting would you guys get a dog and what would you name it oh my gosh i cannot wait to get a puppy she doesn't want one for christmas though no i don't want him to surprise me because i want to be able to pick it out a lot of these questions are the same ones that we answered in our q a so go back and watch that video if you missed it oh who is funnier that's a hard question chandler's pretty funny sometimes i'm funny if you base funny off of like humor and jokes me if you base funny off of like goofiness yeah Nicole. yeah that's true that's true you always have really good jokes i feel like i'm just random are you going on a honeymoon yes it probably won't be right after the wedding but we are gonna go on one we're still deciding where we want to go we're having a hard time thinking of good ideas so if you have any good ideas drop them in the comments because we need help maybe we'll let you guys plan our honeymoon <laughs> what kind of food are you having at your wedding we're not super sure yet we are going to do a catering tasting next weekend we'll let you know what i'm most excited about is our cake and our desserts y'all this is so crazy a follower of mine who has since become a friend like three years ago asked if she could make my cake one day when i got married I said yes and she's doing our cake and we're having a big table with a bunch of other desserts that Chandler's aunt is gonna help her with and so it's gonna be so sweet but we just pulled up to the pumpkin patch oh my gosh it's so cute happy fall everyone oh my gosh this is the most country pumpkin patch I've ever seen look hey 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 oh hey guess what what I think I'm falling for you. <laughs> I'm gonna leave these pumpkins out of here, all right? <laughs> that was so dumb. Whoa, bruh. <laughs> these are so thick. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> You're gorgeous. You're gorgeous. <laughs> Get it? Crickets. <laughs> You got. <laughs> oh wow! I got a two for one special. I'm gonna get that that one on the top. Not bad. That's close. Ah! Missed. Missed. Nice. We're going in the corn maze. Probably we'll get lost. You better not leave me. <laughs> Isn't there like a treasure chest in the middle? No, Marco. Oh. Chandler, where are we going? There's a helicopter flying around though, so maybe if we get in real danger, he can come pick us up. Follow me, I know, do we? No, this is the way out. What? I found it! We made it! How do you feel after your first corn maze? Confused. <laughs> this is a great pumpkin patch. Nashville Fall Festival. If you live in the Nashville area. It's a great place to come. Just got some blizzards. What did you get? Oreo Reese's. There's a new one. It's a Snickerdoodle cookie dough. It's really yummy. Okay, we just got changed into our comfies and we decided to go venture down to downtown Franklin because I picked up my friend, Anna. <laughs> she is spontaneously in Nashville today and messaged me and so we're giving her the grand tour of Nashville because she's never been before. This is mom and dad. I'm their child today. <laughs> They're showing me around the city. They're trying to convince me to move. Yeah, you, everybody's dialed in. You need to move to Nashville. Could you imagine us in the same city? We just buys a house in LA. Everybody moved to Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> what are you excited about right now? Coffee. 
Um, <laughs> oh, well, what are you excited also, about in life? That's a tough question. Uh, <laughs> the holidays. I'm excited for Christmas. Uh, and like the yeah. fact that it feels like fall here. Today it's such a cozy, cozy day. It yeah. is. Like I'm in a sweatshirt. Mm -hmm. and I feel like I don't get that energy very often. What's your favorite thing to do in the fall? Like as a child or as an adult? Adult. Pumpkin patches probably. Mm. I love. A we should have like, watched you do the pumpkin patches. I love a good like haunted house too because mm. I get scared very easily. Literally walk the whole thing with my eyes closed and hold on to the person in front of me. But for some reason <laughs> I still enjoy going. Which flavor profile are you for fall? Pumpkin oh. or cinnamon apple? Pumpkin. Yeah. yeah. I'm not like, I don't know, I, I'm not like an apple crisp Starbucks girly. I'm mm. like the pumpkin spice latte. Okay. And like my candles, I really like like baked goods candles. Yes. I'm like a little bit more of a baked goods maybe than a pumpkin candle. <laughs> We got our coffees. A chai latte. Chandler tried again. This is day 1,720 of Chandler trying to like coffee and I'm over this one. <laughs> he doesn't like it. He good. still doesn't like it. <laughs> so Anna, have we convinced you to move to Nashville yet? <laughs> Listen, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I gotta, I'm trying to figure out how to get my finances together already. <laughs> Anna's never had a moon pie, so we had to stop in this little cutie little store and get moon pies. If you've never had a moon pie, what are you doing with your life? Comment down below if you've ever had one of these because they're so good. It's like a s'mores dunked in chocolate. You have a vanilla one. Chandler got a vanilla one. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I gotta get my now. Ah, I'm being forgotten about. Okay. Look at it, so yummy. One, two, three. They're kind of dry, to be honest. You like it? Mm-hmm. And I love the moon pie. These are great. Like, put this on a stick and roast it over your fire. Like, toss in the microwave for 10 seconds. Yeah. That was such a fun little adventure. We just dropped Anna off, and now we are headed to a double date. Some of our dear friends, Alec and Maddie, are having us over tonight. I think we're making homemade pizzas, which sounds so fun. But we both just remembered that we had pizza for lunch. <laughs> so, it's just pizza day. These are our friends, Alec and Maddie. Say hi to the vlog. You're the best. Welcome to a day in the life. Yes. <laughs> the best host ever. Look at this pizza spread that they made for us. We're making our own pizzas tonight. Wow. Amazing. It's me, Mario. Maddie, tell us the inspo for your pizza. Where are you going with yours? I think we're gonna start off in Down Under, of course. And then maybe we'll go to Switzerland, oh. France, Italy. With all these USA. ingredients? Wow. <laughs> Any Italian vibes on your pizza end. tonight? Like, you married an Italian. Why is there no Italian? This is a Spartan pizza, babe. All right, I'll it's take that. Pizza. All right. What are you gonna do that for your pizza, works. Alec? I'm, I'm, I'm still thinking about it, but it's gonna be good. Yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking maybe four cheese, but I have three, two cheeses, I guess. So but yeah. two, right. two cheese so pizza. Two cheese pizza. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, he's going chicken. You all can spread your cheese out. You just wait. I have a plan. Have oh, chicken. meat lovers. He's adding meat pepperoni. Lovers. More sauce. More sauce. Oh. It's a calzone. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's what I want. Impressive. And then here's the fork. It looks like a frog. Okay. That's his mouth. <laughs> Look at the two little eyes and that's go. his mouth. Okay, finished products, everyone's the beautiful the little the pizza creation. Yes. And our calzone over here. Yes. A group nux. Oh, Woo! <laughs> oh, what a fun night. We played video games and I was really bad at it. Like, I didn't grow up playing video games and I just, my thumbs aren't coordinated like that. I'm super sleepy. That was such a fun day. I hope you enjoyed coming along our random, actually like genuinely <laughs> spontaneous day in the life that ended up being such a wild day. And and we really hope you liked it. So if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And again, join my email list on my website so you can get the link to our wedding live feed if you wanna watch it. But we love you guys so much and we'll see you next week. Bye.